yo so we got these air Jordan one high lost and founds that's dropping this weekend so i'm really trying to figure out what's the hype about i mean everybody is buzzing about this joint that's dropping i'm trying to figure out what's the deal so we just gonna get right into it y'all know how we do it let's get right to it roll my camera please yeah What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Corner Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and let me know you're rocking with the team. You dig. All right, now today we are talking about the Jordan 1 High Lost and Founds that's going to be dropping this weekend on November 19th. Now, lately, I've been seeing a lot of buzz. I mean, YouTubers and a lot of people that's like really into sneakers, they really going crazy over this lost and found joint. And I really just don't know what's the hype about. Now, I've seen photos and everything that's going to be dropping. Even a lot of people going to say like, yo, you need to look at this like from in hand and everything like that. And they'll actually grab your attention. But I'm pretty sure even if I was to look at this from in hand, I just don't get the point of the hype actually right now. So let's just jump right into it. Let's describe this sneaker real quick. I'm gonna give you some more insight about how I feel about it. If I think it's a bust, if I think it's actually dope because just because I feel a certain way don't mean that I don't think it's hype. Now, first thing first, right off the back, yes, we got a bigger swoosh on there. So that's gonna be something that's like a prized possession, bigger swoosh, and it relates to the now movement of what's going on with the Nike swoosh, the Nike logo as is. And I think that's pretty cool. It's grabbing your attention. It actually fits the entire sneaker instead of being so small that it's not really uh, giving the attention that's needed to to this sneaker. Now, moving forward, something that I'm really into, of course, y'all already know, like I like outer soles that actually have color no matter what. But if we have like the color, the red, that's cool. Cool. We're moving forward from that. That's something that's going to be given. But when we get to this midsole, I actually think that the midsole is cool. It's nothing spectacular for me to be hyped up about because they have this aged midsole. Now, I get the point of like having the aged midsole. That's cool and everything. But I just still feel like what's the point of forcing it when you could just actually get some real wear and tear out of your sneaker and then see the real aging of the sneaker instead of like you getting it firsthand and it already looks aged and trying to like force the age, uh, trying to force the look of the age. Now, like I said, it doesn't mean that it's bad, but at the same time, I just don't feel that it's doing anything that actually give you the real journey and a real feature of the sneaker as you start to move forward. Now, moving forward, I'm pretty sure everybody is hyped up about that aged leather that's on the ankle collar. I'm pretty sure everybody is geeked up about that. It gives that crack aged real aged look but when you get into the point of how fashion is moving right now i'm pretty sure a lot of people aren't going to be really showing this part of the sneaker off simply because that baggy style is in so a lot of people are really going to be wearing a sneaker and it's just going to cover that entire ankle so you're not going to be really be showing it off or anything like that it is a fire sneaker so you can you can wear it in multiple ways i just feel like as far as fashion is going it's just going to swallow the entire sneaker and it's not really going to give too much of a presentation off to what people really want to show like i don't really think it's gonna really do too much now the biggest part to me is the tongue it's one of my favorite things to have that age look like it's still unfinished it gives that vintage look it looks undone it's not finished so of course it gives that real aged look and it does match well and it goes along with the theme of lost and found so great job on that they did what they needed to do they understood the assignment now looking at this sneaker entirely i don't really feel like this is like needed honestly we have so many variations of the Jordan ones with the red black and white colorway that at this point if you were to I'm, I'm gonna ask you this question i want you to drop a comment down below let me know if you were to drop all variations of this jordan sneaker of this jordan one high in a red black and white colorway will this be the top three the answer is no now there's no shade to this there's no downsides because i still think it is a fire shoe i don't think that it actually gives any purpose to release another one of these at this point i just feel like you should put something back in the vault and let it sit for a while and then re-release it Add your updates that you need to it, just a little tweak of an update that you need to it, and then let everybody have a taste of history. But as of now, given that lost and found like touch, I really don't feel that it was purposeful. So for those that's asking like the price range on these sneakers, you have them going for 180 for a men's size. You got them for preschoolers, there's 85, and then 75 for those that's infant and toddlers. And then for the babies that's chilling right in the crib, you got them for $50. So 
Will I be going for these? Yes, I'm gonna be going for it for my daughter. All right, now, although I have said like my my feelings about how I don't think it should have dropped now and like I don't feel like it's pointless, again, that doesn't mean that I don't think that this is a fire sneaker. And if we're looking at the total project as a whole, this is a nine out of 10. Now, the reason I say this is one, just looking at the sneaker, it was done well and it stayed on theme. But most importantly, if you look at that OG box and the lid, they did just what they needed to do. This actually does look like it's old school, like you pulling it right off the shelf out of your closet. So it does give that old school beat up look like you've been holding this around for a long time. So shout out to them for that. I think it was a creative idea. On the inside of that, you also have the wrapping that covers up the sneaker that's, that's dope as well. And then on top of that, to have the receipt, to have the receipt was like perfectly, like that's an old school receipt. That is fire. It's really old school, and I think that that was great. So it stayed along the entire theme of the entire sneaker from the box to the sneaker itself. So I feel like they executed properly on this. They did just what they needed to do. They understood the assignment. So shout out to them for actually putting together a sneaker like this. All right, y'all. Now I'm challenging all sneaker heads. I really want y'all to drop those comments down below. Let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think that this was pointless? Do y'all feel like having these lost and founds had any purpose? Drop those comments down below and let me know what's up, man. Now with that being said, I'm about to get up out of here. I just had to vent to y'all real quick and just give y'all some energy of how I was feeling about this sneaker release that's coming this weekend. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I appreciate y'all tuning in and y'all already know how it go, man. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. All right. Peace.